Hello friends, welcome back to another remote art video. This week we are celebrating winter and all the things that go with winter. And I had the read aloud planned of The Mitten by Jan Brett. She is our mentor artist for this week. I love Jan Brett and all of her amazing stories and illustrations, but my favorite book by her is obviously The Mitten. I love the artwork, I love the hedgehog, everything about it is great. So I thought today we could create our very own mitten to celebrate not only Jan Brett and her artwork, but also winter. So here's what you're going to need for today. You will need something to mark on paper with. I'll be using a marker so you can see it really well. You're going to need some crayons to decorate your mitten and a piece of paper. If you want, you can have some other things to add texture to your mitten. You can add some cotton balls. You can add some ribbon. If you use that, you're going to need some scissors and some glue. And maybe you want to cut out your mitten and put it on a piece of background paper. So if these are some extra things you'd like, you might want to get them gathered, but we can keep our mitten nice and basic and it will still be absolutely beautiful. So let's get started. So I'm going to move some of these extra materials out of the way and keep things nice and simple to start. Okay. So we have our paper and we have our pencil, our pen, our marker, whatever we can find. And we need to get our basic mitten shape. To do that, I'm going to use my hand. I'm going to put my hand on the middle of my paper. Okay, maybe turn it this way. And I'm going to trace my hand just like this. You may need a grown-up's help with this and that's okay. But there's one and here's the challenge. I'm going to trace my other hand too and use my opposite hand, which is kind of a challenge for me, but that's okay. We can do hard things if we try. And there we go. That wasn't so bad. I have my two mittens and they are ready to be decorated. Nice and easy, right? So now I can use my crayons and I can create a pattern or a design to decorate my mitten. Now in the book, The Mitten, Baba makes the mittens white for Nicole, right? And he loses them in the snow when all sorts of animals go and find them and try to climb inside to get nice and toasty. But we can make our mittens however we want. So I'm going to speed up the video and I will see you on the other side. Okay, so here are my finished mittens, and I could be done right here, and I think it's a fun and gorgeous project, but if you would like to continue on and try something different, here are some extra ideas that you could do. I grabbed a piece of background paper like this, and I'm going to cut out my mittens. Thank you. 
Okay, so now that my mittens are cut out, I'm going to glue them down. When you're gluing, you don't want to use too much, but you also want to make sure that you're getting the edges glued down so those don't come up either. Press it down nice and firmly. And the other side. Going as close to the edge as I can. Just like that. Glue it here. And that's one extra thing that you could do. Another extra thing would be to use some cotton balls. We have talked a lot about texture in art, and we know that there are two kinds of texture, real texture and implied texture. Some implied texture that I used in this piece of art is the ribbing of the gloves around the edge right here, right? It looks like it would feel bumpy if I could touch it, but I can also add some actual texture, something I can actually touch and feel with cotton balls. So I have a couple here. I can kind of pull them apart a little bit, not too, too much, but just enough to make them nice and fluffy. And I can add that texture right here at the bottom. Add lots of glue so it doesn't come up later when you're least expecting it. Pressing down nice and firmly. Just like that. Now we have both real texture and implied texture in, the, in this piece of art. Just something fun and extra. I'm going to push that down so it dries. One other thing that we could do is if you have string or ribbon or something like that, you can add that to your art as well. So I'm going to try to get a piece of ribbon off here. Not too much. I'm going to cut it off. And I'm going to connect my gloves at the bottom. I think that if Nicole had done this, then he probably wouldn't have lost his gloves in the first place. I'm trying to make sure that gets all down just like that. So now you can see some extra little pop-up art on our piece as well. Now again, you can leave it just like this and it's a fun and an amazing piece of artwork. But if you want to add some extra detail to your background, you can grab a white crayon and we can draw snowflakes in the background or whatever wintry thing you can think of. I just really like drawing snowflakes. The way I like to draw them simply is drawing the letter X and then drawing a lowercase letter T on top and decorating the edges with some dots, just like that. I'm gonna add some more snowflakes to my background. And there you have it, my friends, a finished piece of artwork that celebrates not only Jan Brett's The Mitten, but just the best season in general, which is winter. I hope you enjoyed this project, no matter what you added to it. I think it's going to look absolutely wonderful, and I cannot wait to see the amazing things you create. But I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>